Yay, yay. We want to welcome everybody back to the King and I Life podcast. I am right, Sun Soul Lex. This Soul is my partner. Poet in the house. Yes, sir. We got back uh, another good one for you guys today. Uh, <laughs> I, I know people are gonna love this one. I know people are gonna oh, love this one. Oh man. But um anyway, we want you guys to uh look out for us on Facebook, mm-hmm. Instagram, YouTube. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe um on all major podcast platforms. All of them, all of them, all of them. So we got some special guests coming up this week. You want to make those introductions, King? Well, not really, because when this one uh, goes live, we already going to have the guests on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to keep that one in our bag for right now. But uh, <laughs> another major announcement, uh, we, we got some things uh, in the, the shoot, as they say, or in the clip coming up that we can share with our our viewers and our audience we're just trying to work out the details right now we're not gonna drop everything on it right now but just know that we got some things coming for you all oh yeah yes i can't wait kind of excited anxious a little bit heck yeah man i'm ready to drop it but you know we're gonna get it straight first but uh tonight uh or today ladies and gentlemen we are gonna be talking about music and sexuality Oh Lord, <laughs> man, we we want to know how do the music affect you and your sexuality? And when you're in that mood and you're you know doing a do as they say, <laughs> what kind of role did that play with your body movement? You did you right now. All right, so it'd have been nice to have a female on this joint, though. It, it would have, it would have. We we were trying to get a couple uh females on, but you know, everybody's busy at different times, so it right, is what right. it is. But um, how does music express your mood? Oh my god. <laughs> um, I don't even know at this point in life. Um honestly like seriously i don't even know at this point in life because i don't even use music anymore like if music is playing all right cool um but i'm kind of more focused on the task at hand and i kind of block it out right but i'm I'll, i'll say um earlier in my earlier days you know music was like that was the thing because you know it kind of it it made you pay attention to her body language it Uh made you want to uh have your body language match to the music um if you knew the song that you were playing or or the music that you were playing at that time you definitely wanted to flow with that music in the beginning that way you know you take all that that sexual energy and you transform it into that 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 that, that mood right there. You you kind of it's kind of like building up a, a movie a love scene in the movie, right. and that music in the background is the soundtrack, and that, and that's when you put your big boy draws on and you be like you know what this Joker over here singing, and she liked this song. This is one of her favorites, or it might be one of my favorites. I got to get into it and match that gangster rhythm right there. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, I would definitely say uh, for me, uh, I can't say I really use music like that anymore. Mm. Uh, it, it just happens like that. Um, but back in the day, I'm totally with you. I had like three special playlists that, that will break down. You know what I'm saying? Like it depended on the woman that I had with me at the time. Right. But uh Definitely. I, I had certain songs where I would just have them on repeat, you know, mm-hmm. it would be a slow song or if it was the type of female that we we got that kind of sexual energy where we like to get it in like that. I would definitely have the mood as far as the rhythm of the, the music in, mm-hmm. in overdrive, meaning oh, yeah. some hype, getting it in music like let's let's do this thing. So I definitely uh, agree with you that not as much so much now but back then and i don't know if that's a 
getting older uh, type of thing or, or what it is, but right. um, I guess it's one of those things you have to preset it up now <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> with music. You definitely got to put thought into it like you know set the mood of of the night of things anticipating to come so yeah and you and it's like you got to be deliberate with it um i and i'll say this as i'm older i'll i'll play certain songs or send a female certain songs um not wow or when we're getting ready to have sex it's kind of like if a song comes to mind and it reminds me of this this woman or or something about this woman, I'll send her that song to mentally put her in in a different mood. That way, you know, when we're just sitting around chilling, that song is in her head and she kind of like looks at me and she's remembering that song and I'm like, what you thinking about? Oh, blah, blah, blah song that you sent me, blah, blah, blah. Or she might have songs in her head, or her head that that make her feel a different way when it when it pertains to me. So right. it's like back in the day, it's like yeah, I need this music during the mood to get us, you know, help the mood g- grow or whatever the case may be. And now mm-hmm. for me, it's like you know, I'm sending you a song to mentally get you in the mood, not so much sexually, because once I get you in the mood mentally, yeah, then everything else is just gonna flow naturally with it, right. I mean, I'll say for me, uh, with my wife, I'll send her uh, certain songs. Like if I hear a song on the radio and it makes me think of her or a particular time where we're doing something in our lives, I record it right quick and mm-hmm. send it to her. Right. But um, as far as like actually, again, uh, while we're in the act of, of doing it, um, I can't even tell you the last time. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, we play some i guess that's kind of sad but it, it it's just life it, it has happened like that yeah, but yeah, uh for real yeah definitely as as an older gentleman i tend to send the song more than actually play the song right exactly exactly but uh with that being said what songs do you have on your playlist that get your feeling sensual or get you feeling sensual bruh let me tell you, the last time I had a playlist specifically for that, I could not, I don't even know. Um, and it's it's kind of hard to make a playlist now, mm. depending on what you're playing your music on. Uh, for instance, like, you know, if you do Spotify, sometimes it might not play all the music that's in your playlist. Um if you have Apple Music, then you definitely have a need to have a device that plays your music from Apple Music, because um, ain't nobody rocking no cassette tapes no more, and CDs are almost non-existent. Mm-hmm. But with that being said, if I had a playlist, some of my top songs would be uh, "Between the Sheets" um, by the Osleys. Um, let me see. Found love on the two uh, on the two way street. Stacy Lattisall. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Freak me by Silk. Um, you and I by Jodeci. Um, uh, I'll give up, give all my love to you. Um, keep sweat. Mm-hmm. Um, those would be my my top ones right off the head. All right, got you, got you. Well, I, I took time to write down a little list. <laughs> 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 okay, for me, you know, people, this is just my personal uh, list right here. Don't don't take it personally. Um, Heavy D and the Boys got me waiting. Mm. Doing it by LL Cool J. It's a little hey, ugly. lover. By LL Cool J. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as soul songs, I say uh, Sex Me by R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bump and Grind by R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Uh, Freaking You by Joe mm-hmm. Yeah. And Freak Me by Silk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what? That's I'm how I forget it. Let me, let me add another mm-hmm. song to that. All right, go ahead. 
I'll Make Love to You by uh, Boys to Men. Oh, man, that's a classic. Yes. That's a classic. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yes. I would have to add that one on, too. <laughs> and, and, and definitely got to throw in a Can You Stay in the Rain by New Edition. Yeah, yeah. Those those songs, they actually take you back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to, to other times in your life. Oh, yeah. Um, and not actually uh, sexual, uh, sexually or sexual wise, but just being in that time era and that, that frame of mind, uh, anytime you hear those songs, I know for me, it instantly damn near takes me back. And I can always remember a specific time and date and space right. of what I was doing when, you know, I may have heard that song for the first time. Yeah. You know what? And in in the um the crazy thing about that is compared to the music of today, they don't make those kind of songs anymore. And I'm going to jump out on a ledge and say that's kind of why I really don't have a playlist anymore. Right. Um because as we've grown older, you know, a lot of the supposed love songs, they're like fuck songs. And it's like, eh, you might have a good beat, you know, the rhythm might be there, but it's too too straight to the point now. Um that it the is. love songs of back in the day, it was the idea of doing it. Um, it was, you know, subtle innuendos and stuff like that, where it was like, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but you're not blatantly saying it. And that was, to me, that was that was the love song music. And I think that changed in the, the late 90s, early 2000s up to now. But those classic songs, man, like, even even like you know some of the LL Cool J songs, the um, Heavy D songs, the Father MC yeah. songs, mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of those rappers made that kind of music, and it was it was dope. And it's like, shoot, I could add this to my my love song playlist, and yeah. you know, be in the mood. Definitely, definitely. Um, just to piggyback off that, I would say the. Uh choreograph on the songs nowadays is, is exactly what you're saying. It's, it's more like, mm, 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 yeah. mm. I would want to, yeah. you know, dirty, nasty. <laughs> yeah, because like, like, when you used to watch the older videos, like if you watched a Luther video or an Osley Brothers video or something like that, or a Keith Sweat video, it was like, it was the mood. You might have saw a, a, a lady dressed in negligee or this, that, and the other, and it was like, you know, I'm, I'm watching a B-rated movie or something like that. Now you watch videos and Jokers is just going but wow, and it's like, eh, yeah. I like your song and everything, but I, I you know, I just don't want to see it blatant in my face. Like, it's nothing wrong with it, but it's like, if I play this video, it's like, yeah, we definitely know where my head is at if I'm playing this video. But as when you played an older video, it was like, Oh yeah, mm, I like this right here. Let's sit back and chill. We could drink mm -hmm. wine and like some candles to this. Yeah, I remember back in the day, man. Like when I had a, a, a female coming over, I would have the candles going, the lights turned down low, the music. You know, I, I click my little clicker and mm -hmm. music come on and maybe like a little uh, fireplace on the damn right. TV screen. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. just set the mood. Yeah. So, I you know, know, as soon as she stepped into the crib, she's like, oh, you're doing it like that, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it's like a lot of, um, some some women today, they don't even, they don't even comprehend that. They don't no. even, no. they don't even vibe with their whole headspace. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the hell is, what are you doing? Right. Like, <laughs> like yo, what? Yeah, so nowadays you come through the door and, and this is just me speculating with the type of music um, generation, I guess you can say we're in now. It's like straight, like Meg the Stallion and banging Cardi. and twisting and yeah, like that's grimy music to me, but right. you know, it's just my personal opinion. Yeah, I feel you. So do you perform better to certain songs you feel? I, I, I don't. 
back in I, I'll say back in the day, yeah. Because <laughs> it was like, I'm, uh, look, back in the day, it was like you played that song, and and when certain songs, like if you, let's just say you started out with a certain song, and you know you start the foreplay stuff, it was like, you know, my foreplay game is gonna be different because of this song is on, and then when you in it. And, and a certain song come on, it's like, you know what? Look, I got to put, I, look, my punctuation's got to be in place. My grammar got to be straight. I, I got to, look, I got to be on 10 because this song is playing. This is her song. I know this is her song. I love this song. So I'm going to be on point. I'm going to make sure I come correct. And and this hope is not a bad day, you know? Hope is not one of those days we just... <laughs> Your man just like, look, I'm trying to hit it and quit it. And you be like, nah, the song is on. I got the I got to do my thing on this, man. Mm-hmm. I'll say for me, uh it depends on the mood. Um, like if I'm trying to be all sexual and slow it down and you know, do my pimping thing, then slow songs. Right. But again, if the female is the type of female where she like, you know, let's get it in, let's go hard, mm-hmm. then I'm probably gonna play some like again doing it mm-hmm. uh by L Cool J and uh X gonna give it to you <laughs> oh, <laughs> by DMX because I'm finna power drive your motherfucking ass, but straight throw the grimy at it. Yeah, her. man, I'm giving all this pipe. <laughs> wow. Straight punishment. Yeah, man, I'm gonna go to the deepest part of it. That's fun. But, um, That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. But does music really have an impact on sex with your partner? You feel nowadays? I, I guess you can say. Ah, I, I, me, I would venture to say no because you know a lot of songs are just like you know hit songs, pop songs. So right. Um. I don't think they have that same sexual impact when you're with your partner, unless you're playing the old school jams. So, I mean, and then it's like, is anybody still making love like that to where they're, they're going out of the way to throw music unless it's a special occasion, like an anniversary, a birthday, a, a vacation. I just I just don't see that um going down like that anymore but I think it I think I I more so would say it depends on the relationship and the situation and and what what each person's intent is because a woman would more likely throw the music and and, and do set the scene like that these days more than a man would All right um, so it would probably off the top be have more of an impact when she's doing it as opposed it as it is with a man now if a man does it yeah more more than likely it's going to be because a special occasion maybe he messed up he's trying to get back another good graces or whatever but right. um yeah i don't i just unless i think unless you're playing the, the classic classics um i don't think it really has an impact these days yeah i i have to agree with you on that one i mean um i'm not sure if it has anything to do with just the, the type of environment people are in nowadays as far as like everybody's hustle and bustle and you know got to make it happen i don't know if that type of uh, mentality has anything to do with it right but uh for me having a family life as far as like you know raising our, our child and trying to maintain businesses and work and mm-hmm. you know the list goes on and on <clears throat> excuse me, Um, I I really, again, I I think that it will have to come down to like a special occasion because otherwise, you know, I'm really not thinking about it and Mm -hmm. it's nothing against, you know, my wife or anything like that, but it just, a lot of times at the end of the day, we both so damn tired that it's kind of like, hey, do I want to go out my way to get something going when I already know that it's there's a possibility it might not not jump off like that (laughs) right and I'm I'm sure she thinks the same way so uh yep I have to say we're just in a different time now where and again it it could just be 
because we're in this space, you know, as far as like our age bracket uh, mm -hmm. nowadays, it may be different for younger people. I don't right. know. It might be. Yeah, but it uh, might be. Yeah. So is there still a thing called baby making music in your opinion? Man, it's always going to be baby making music out there in these streets. Um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I think the uh, the definition of baby making music may have changed. Um, I don't I don't think the baby that's that's the kind of baby making music that we used to have. And that's the kind of baby making music I wish we still had. I right. miss that baby making music, man. Yeah, I think it goes back to uh, the terminology nowadays, though, because back then that's when, you know, you had the love making uh, mm -hmm. music, the the half on a baby uh, type of music with R. Kelly. And you had, you know, uh, just the, the whole slowness of it, the, the yeah. pace of the music, you know, it not only did it calm you, but it put you in that mental space of let's get it in. Oh, and yeah. nowadays we got this cut you up, dice you up, stab you up. What right. the hell? <laughs> like, are we having sex yeah. or are we murdering each other? <laughs> like, I thought we was like, <laughs> yeah. Like, I thought we was making some love and, but mm, all right, like, you know, I'll I, I take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's dramatic uh, as far as the terminology that's actually used nowadays. Yeah. It is. And oh, I, yeah. I, I really don't get it. Call me old school. <laughs> you know what? I cut you up, dice you up, it, dice I think, you up. <laughs> I think it's more. I think it's. I think it's more so the change with times where um, people are hurry up and give it to me type thing. Um, right. It, it's it's no more of the courting there's no more of the uh sensuality in the music granted mm -hmm. i mean i can't i'm not going i'm not going to sit there and say there's none out there but there there's i don't i don't hear any that is significant that you can sit back and be like yeah like three four five six months ago so and so dropped this song this love song and it's a banger you know i and and I guess maybe I'm naive or ignorant to it because I don't look at, you know, music charts anymore. I don't, I don't even, I don't look for that type of music. Matter of fact, let me back up. There are artists out there who make that music, but they're underground and you would like really have to find them like on YouTube or you have to know somebody who, who listens to this, these, these underground artists because a friend of mine that lives in New Jersey she was putting me on to some music from, you know, people who are affiliated with well-known groups. And it was like, damn, that's tight. Where this person being at? And it's like, I would never come across it because it's not in the mainstream. Right. I mean, again, the, the whole like dating scene has changed. You know, it used to be like you, you court a female, and, you know, after a certain amount of times, a certain amount of dates, then you guys get it in. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like that but nowadays it's kind of like you meet have dinner weather case maybe mm -hmm. bam you you're doing it so it's kind of yeah, like, like there's yo. no that time span in between you guys getting to know each other it has shrunk dramatically no. from weeks bunch. down like. to dang near hours and minutes <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> so i definitely get the landscape of, of dating and that whole scene has changed so yeah we, we of course it is it's, it's, it's it, not gonna that, be like it was back in the day right yeah i was about and i was just about to say that it's been a whole shift and it's like change is good but when you know certain traditions and stuff go away it's like oh come on man are you serious like yo yeah where's where, where's that music where's that mood where's that vibe where where did that go it's like gone mm -hmm. it's kind of like 
the whole thing nowadays of even approaching a woman, you know, mm-hmm. saying certain things, you could, you know, be Rico Suave with your joint. Right. But nowadays, it's kind of like, do I want to risk in a sexual harassment charge? <laughs> you know what? And not even going that far. Do do I want to go out on a limb and let's just say I want to throw the music in the background and this, that, and the other, and shorty coming up like, this dude is corny. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because like I be looking on social media and 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 people be saying some wild things, and then I be like, you know, I know you, and I see what you posting on social media, but when it comes down to it, you're not even into that. Like, you're not into that. So help me understand. Like, come on. Definitely, definitely, that is crazy. Mm. Well, that's going to wrap up this segment of the King and I Life podcast. I don't know if we'll revisit this topic any, but if you guys send us emails or, you know, send us some shouts out saying that you want to chime in on it, if we get enough response, then definitely the King and I will revisit this topic. We're going to revisit this because I'm going to throw a poll out there with these specific questions and, 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 and see what answers we get. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. Bet that, up, bet that up. So <laughs> once again, we want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube. Hit that like and subscribe. Thumbs up button. Yeah, and, man. And, and, and when we do our lives, uh, you know, we're going to be live on Facebook and uh um, and and YouTube and maybe some other platforms. Who knows? You know, whatever yes, sir. comes yes, up. Sir. You know, trying to get our uh, footprint out there, so you can help us put our footprint in the podcast world's ass. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So again, thank everyone for sharing our posts and sharing our videos. We cannot tell you how grateful we are for you guys for doing that. Yes. Um, much love for everyone, especially our our foreign listeners. There it is. There it is. So touch of the poet here. Son, so Lex. King and I Life Podcast. Uh, I, I can't echo my partner's sentiments enough. So with that being said, peace and blessings to all of y'all. And hey, we out. Peace.